Productions with LaMarche Manufacturing. Uh, today in the LaMarche web series, we're going to talk about the uh, basic components of an SCR type battery charger, how they work, how they operate, and the basics of what you need to know. Any SCR type battery charger in, in this market space is going to start out with a simple power transformer that we're going to connect an AC input voltage to and the job of the transformer is going to be to provide isolation from the primary to the secondary side and also to adjust the uh, voltage of the primary down to the secondary voltage that we need uh, for your particular battery size. You may have an AC voltage here that's uh, 480 volts. We might need to you know, s uh, step it down to you know, say 100 volts, what have you. Uh, but that, that's the job of the transformer. So we need to be able to rectify this and, and to simplify it, I'm just gonna draw a center tap st uh, style rectifier. Uh, from this, you can get a, a plus minus and the, the resulting output waveform would be DC, but you'll notice that there's a high amount of ripple on this. And this is not really a healthy thing for the battery. So what we're actually gonna do is insert a filter. So for a proper filter, we need an inductor and we need a capacitor. This is going, to, the inductor is going to actually limit your ripple current where the capacitor is gonna to work to limit your ripple voltage. The two work together in order to supply the energy that's uh, actually uh, filling in the gap in between. So this actually fills in all of this area in between the ripple humps. And you'll notice that the resulting ripple from this is now much smaller than it would be without the filter. So then the next question is, well, how do we actually control the recharge? Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add SCRs and replace the diodes. So uh, an SCR stands for Silicon Controlled Rectifier. Uh, they will behave very much like a regular uh, diode when they're forward biased, only that they turn on specifically at the moment that they're being gated. Uh, so we kind of control the delay on that and that will give you a, a different uh, output. Let's take a look at, at the difference of that. So starting from zero volts, Looking at the output voltage, we want to be able to raise or lower this as needed to accommodate line voltage changes and load current changes, or say flow to equalize voltage changes. So with this, the way that this works is if you were to look at that rectified secondary voltage, by gating the SCRs, we can actually say we want to turn on maybe at this point. So you notice that this uh, fills in an area. And what we're looking at is the area under the curve. In particular, I've, I've drawn this at a, a firing angle alpha of approximately 90 degrees. So you can kind of see this only occupies half of the uh, sine wave, uh, the rectified sine wave on the secondary side. So by doing this, the area under the curve is actually going to allow us to raise or lower the voltage. So let's kind of see how, how that works. What if this were my area? Very, very small percentage of it. Then I would be at this resulting lower voltage or lower current. What if 
I were to change and reduce my alpha such that, uh, that I occupy the majority of this rectified sine wave. Well, that's actually going to result in a higher output. So you can kind of see now how, depending on the delay angle alpha that we uh, fire the SCRs in the rectifier, we can directly control the output. So how's this actually done in practice? So what we'll have is a controller that measures the output voltage and we'll use a shunt resistor to measure the current. So the job of the controller now is to look at the output voltage and the output current and decide when is the best time to be firing the gates on the SCR in order to regulate the output that we're actually seeking. So next logical question is, well, why do you need to control both voltage and current in a battery charger? So assume that we're in a situation where you've had an AC power outage, your loads have now depleted the battery, and now your AC has recovered uh, allowing the battery to recharge. It's almost easier to think about it from a fully depleted battery. So as, the, as, as we look at, at voltage and time, we're also going to look at, at current as, as well. At, at the moment where the charger turns on, the charger ramps up to its full rate of uh, output current and often uh, 110%. And uh, this will operate in what's called constant current or it's also called current limit. When it's operating at, at this point, the, the voltage climbs almost linearly. And it's gonna continue climbing until you hit the float voltage set point. So, at the time that the voltage of the battery climbs up, it's recharging, the specific gravity is climbing, uh, it's, it's regaining its capacity uh, during this period of time. Once it hits the float voltage set point, the current will, will start to taper down. And eventually it's gonna hit an asymptote just a little bit above zero amps where the float voltage will continue, okay? So the, the idea of this is we need to be able to control this current because an empty battery will try to draw an infinite amount of current from a battery charger. Uh, that means it's one, not gonna be healthy for the battery, but two, it's not gonna be healthy for the charger either. So by controlling the recharge current and controlling the float voltage, we can now properly recharge uh, just about any type of battery with this style charger. Uh, you can also look at this as really three discrete regions of time. Where this is considered the bulk recharge, this is where the majority of the amp hours are returned into the battery. In this period of time, where the output voltage is uh, still stable from the charger, but the current is tapering down, this period of time is really considered absorption. This is where the remainder of uh, the amp hours are returned and this may be a, a long period of time. This region is considered the floating current and all batteries will uh, mimic this type of behavior where the, where on a a uh, stationary type system where the charger is always running and the battery is always online, always connected. Um, the battery is always going to draw some current that's just a little bit above zero amps uh, that allows it to fight off its self-discharge. So being able to measure the voltage, measure the current, control the firing angle on the SCRs allows us to properly recharge a battery in terms of uh, controlling the current output, 
and the voltage output for the battery requirements.